as these vaccines get deployed in children, we will continue to monitor the safety through the existing adverse event reporting systems and the pharmacovigilance programs. It looks like Canadian parents are so far split as to whether or not they will be vaccinating their 5 to 11 year old kids with a COVID-19 vaccine soon after it becomes available. This according to new polling data recently released by Angus Reid Institute. So right now in Canada, a Pfizer vaccine is available for the 12 to 17 year old age category. And that age category is included in the vaccine passport system in provinces such as Ontario and BC. Right now, there is no vaccine available for five to 11 year olds, not just in Canada, but pretty much in most comparable countries throughout the world. Pfizer, however, has submitted data to Health Canada to the United States and other jurisdictions seeking approval for them to roll out such a vaccine. And public health officials in various parts of Canada actually say they're eager to do this, they're getting ready. Some places are even doing pre-registrations. But what do the numbers show? The Angus Reid Institute poll says that 51% of Canadians of parents do say, yes, I will be getting my five to 11 year old vaccinated pretty much as soon as it's available. Then 18% say, well, hold on, we're not opposed to it, but we would like to wait a while until we get our kid vaccinated. There's no particular timeline as to what a while meant in that polling question. And then 23% of respondents flat out answered, no, I will not be getting my child vaccinated with the COVID-19 vaccine. And again, there was uh, no details in that polling to explore why they were making that decision. And then you've got 9% of respondents who answered, I'm not sure. So what does all of this mean? Well, I hope one thing that we can take away from these numbers is that parents, they are split on this. And I think it's only natural to have parents having differing views on this right now. There's been a lot of discussion about myocarditis in teenagers, for instance. We know that over 100 Ontario youth have been hospitalized with vaccine-related heart issues. There's been lots of discussion about this and Ontario actually is now recommending against 18 to 24 year old males from using the Moderna vaccine. Now, Ontario health officials on background have said, yes, they are concerned and wondering to what degree this phenomenon may or may not play out in the five to 11 year old category. It's a smaller dosage, a pediatric dose that is one third of the volume of what the adult doses are, but still there are questions that various pediatricians and, and, and other people uh, on the medical scene are asking and wondering about this rollout of vaccines for this age category. So who knows what is motivating the various responses that parents gave when they answered to this poll, but I think it shows that there are definitely questions, concerns, and just differing views out there among parents. Now, when it came to talking about adult vaccines, we've had something of a, of a vaccine culture war out there. There's been a lot of division, there's been a lot of name calling, but I hope we can call those parents who just aren't sure right now, not names like anti-vaxxer, but instead acknowledge that this is gonna be a really complex question and issue for people. And well, this is our kids we're talking about here. So this is an issue that's gonna increasingly be at the fore in, in Canada as parents talk amongst themselves and ask each other, what are they gonna do? What are you gonna do? What do you think about this issue?